Now, NBC 26 meteorologist Gino Recchia. Well, we've got a little bit of an active weather pattern across the central part of the country, which will be impacting us here in Wisconsin. At the moment, though, it was pretty nice. If you stepped outside this morning, you saw some cloudy skies, but sunshine broke out in the afternoon hours with some dry air. But off to the west, there is some snowfall. And there are winter weather advisories from Nebraska up into southern Minnesota for some light accumulation and even a little wintry mix. Now, on the warm sector of this storm system, we've got some rain showers in northwest Wisconsin. Nothing right now in our neck of the woods, but that'll be changing later tonight as the clouds build in here. So we'll have two parent low pressures, one that gets absorbed by the main system up to the north. And as we get close to midnight, I say after 8, 9 o'clock, as the cold front gets close by us, we'll have some light rain showers. Now, once the cold front moves through, high pressure builds in behind it, clears our skies tomorrow, but with it, also drawing in some cooler temperatures. So our high tomorrow will probably be right around midnight and then see temperatures drop down into the 20s later on as you get into the afternoon evening hours. Saturday morning starting sunny, then watch out for this little clipper. Now we're seeing some bounce back between the forecast models on how much snow accumulation we could see late Saturday night into early Sunday and the latest in-house model actually increased some of the snowfall. Here's a close look showing some of that light rainfall rolling through as we get to Friday morning. The sky is clear, but with it, the temperatures will be falling and we are not really seeing much rain whatsoever. Under a tenth of an inch, very light sprinkles are expected with this system. Now watch what happens as we head into the weekend. So we'll have a sunny start, but then the clouds build in quickly from the west. And here we are Saturday night, uh, New Year's Eve night with some light snowfall perhaps to welcome us to 2023. Now what I'll say is that the last model run of our in-house model was showing about under a half inch of snowfall. Now it's added an additional inch. So what we're seeing here is a kind of a bounce back and trying to figure out exactly how much moisture will move in here. So it's looking pretty interesting that we might have at least some light snowfall. How much snow we see still remains a question. 35 for the overnight low southwest winds at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Tomorrow will at be at 35 and that's in the morning. By the afternoon, that is when the skies will clear and also the temperatures will start to fall as well. Getting up to 35 once again on Saturday. On Sunday, a little bit warmer for New Year's Day, 38. Low 40s on Monday, dry for most of the day. Late Monday night, could have some rain showers and move in here. Looking like a pretty rainy day on Tuesday with some light wintry mix on Wednesday. Temperatures cooling down into the 20s by Thursday.